Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Aquarius, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the chariot card in reverse, Cancerian energy. Your person showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. They're viewing you as the Ace of Wands. What you're not seeing is the Six of Cups, and then you have the Judgment card in reverse, okay? And the Fool card, Aries energy, so taking a leap of faith. I feel you've got somebody brand new coming in. Now, for some of you, it could be some sort of reconciliation, but I feel like you've got someone here who's been crushing on you. Somebody here who's very single, okay? So it feels like they've been a bachelor or bachelorette for a long time, or they've been divorced or separated and didn't think they were going to want to be in a relationship or want to see someone seriously. But I feel like you've brought everything to a full stop for them. And what I mean by that is I think you make their heart stop, Aquarius. I really do. I think this person may be a little bit worried that you're going to judge them. Um, maybe they gave you the impression that they were a bit of a player or they weren't interested or something like that. But let's see. The chariot card in reverse tells me that um, I, I just, it's not a traditional read of this card, but I do feel like this person's heart has come to a full stop or, you know, their heart skips a beat when you're around. That's what I'm getting. They're wildly attracted to you. Yeah. This person's been holding back. I think you have this person like in their feels and feeling really confused. Could be a Sagittarius. This person is definitely with this temperance energy. They're holding back. They're trying not to rush in. They, I feel like this person either misjudged you or they not on purpose, but they were giving off like some sort of vibe aqua that they weren't like interested or they, they, they were a player or they don't want a relationship, but something about you has made everything shift for them. Okay. They're still quite independent. So I do feel that it might be somebody who has trouble connecting, you know, inter with interconnectedness, right? Cause they've been very independent. Um, yeah, it, it, this person's avoidant. This person's a little bit avoidant. I'm not going to lie. And, um, Wow, Aquarius energy, but they have you on their mind, in their heart, in their mind. This person sees like some sort of future with you, Aqua. I just feel this is somebody who's like always been single or has been like really hurt in relationships, maybe even, like I said, recently divorced or something along those lines. And they're, they, they weren't seeing any sort of future with anyone. They weren't seeing marriage. They weren't seeing commitment. They weren't seeing union. They weren't seeing family, whatever that is. And there's something about you that has just re-sparked or reignited this sort of flame in their heart, if you will. I know that sounds a bit cheesy, but those are the messages coming through. With the Ace of Wands, this person is very attracted to you. All right. Um, they didn't see this coming. They didn't see you coming. It's like you weren't a part of their plans, Aquas. And I, that's what I get with that Chariot card. Like you've brought everything to a full stop. They see you as the best of the best. They're seeing you as part of their destiny. They see you as having everything they could want or need. What you're not seeing, though, is the Six of Cups. This person's really crushing on you. This person's actually even daydreaming about stuff. I don't know that they vowed never to daydream about. Marriage, kids, family, moving in together. Um, yeah, and that they have been a bit emotionally unavailable, but this person wants to resolve any conflict between you and them. Like I said, I feel like they're a little bit worried there's conflict because they may have given off the impression that they just don't care, okay, or that, you know, that they're not into you or they don't want you or anybody else. Like I just kind of got like they might have given off like Grinch vibes here, but maybe not for all of you, but... Um, the judgment card in reverse, this person's realizing they've misjudged you. They've misjudged things uh, in their life. Okay, some of you, you're in separation from this person, but you're going to be receiving an apology. And I'm actually getting a very heartfelt uh, conversation coming your way that they're a bit nervous. They're nervous about commitment, but I think they're going to take a leap of faith and tell you that they're really feeling and maybe that they've misjudged you or the situation or, you know, they gave off the impression that they didn't want to give off. 
And with the Six of Swords, we have peace. We have healing coming through here. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Lots of big, big major arcanas coming through. And this person, they, it almost feels like they're, they might have an avoidant attachment style. Um, but they have you on their mind with the star card there. And, and it's like you've changed everything. Like you've you've kind of created a bit of a tower moment, although it's kind of like they may have been resisting it. But you've created a tower moment for this person. Yeah, this person's realizing that you two complement each other very well. There's this yin-yang energy, possibly, you know, twin flame soulmate energy. Yeah, this person's ready for a new phase or to transform this connection. They have changed their mind, and that's because of you, Aquas. Let's see what Spirit's advice is for you here. All right, abundance. So keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. There's a lot of abundance here. You might also independently be receiving some money um, or some you know, fame or fortune here. Um, things are going to be going well for you. And endings bring new beginnings. So if you have had an ending with this person, there's a potential new beginning. I think they're realizing here, Aqua, that you have the key to their heart. Okay. I think that's exactly what they're realizing. And I, I think they misjudged. I don't, it's not even so much that they misjudged you. I feel like they misjudged what they wanted or how they were feeling. And I feel that's that you've been this catalog catalyst. You've been, you know, you've dropped a bomb on them here for sure without knowing it. Okay. And I think they're ready to take, uh, take a leap of faith. You came closer than anyone. So like I said, for a lot of you, you're dealing with a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette. There is something very special about you and they want to know if they still have a chance and I can't do this, but they still do have insecurities. Okay. And I watch your social media. So they're definitely checking up on you, but they, they do have some insecurities about relationships. Okay. And it, and it doesn't feel like it's because they're a player. It feels like, you know, they've purposely made themselves emotionally unavailable in order to not get hurt. And they've been avoiding relationships because something in their past still may need to be healed. But you're a total game changer for this person. All right. Spirit saying falling in love, sudden feelings that this is the one. I feel like that's their feelings towards you. And look at that. Boom. Unexpected connection. This has come out of left field. This has taken them by surprise. Aquarius opposites attract. I think they're more surprised than anybody else, to be honest, about how they feel about you and what they want with you. And it feels pretty good if you want if you want to be with this person. All right, so I'm going to leave it here, Aquarius. I'm, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.